but uh, uh, it's cool. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. <laughs> Try it again. Bullets! I could really use some bullets. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, uh, uh, help me over here. But uh, huh? It's cool. Happy thoughts. Gotta be one somewhere. Don't panic. It's cool. Super cool. So good. That was so <laughs> nice. Hey, what's going on everybody? Akeem here with Mitchell and we are currently at Dave and Dave Recording Studios and we're gonna be talking to the legend himself, Vash the Stampede, the voice, returning as the voice of Vash in Trigun Stampede, Johnny Youngbosch. How are you, sir? Good. Thank you for uh, agreeing to do this. You know, course, we, yeah. we, so we have some uh, Fan Fest fan questions for you, but beforehand, uh, Mitchell and I, we're fans as well, so we have some questions for you. Um, first one that I have to ask you, when you found out the news that they were reimagining uh, Trigun um, as Trigun Stampede, uh, when you got that news that this was happening as, as a new anime, what, what was going through your brain? And then when you were approached to reprise your role as Vash, how did you feel? Well, I didn't know it was a reimagining. I didn't know, I just knew that they were working on Trigun and that Trigun, a new animation was coming. Um, so obviously when I first heard that, I was like, oh sweet, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, Cause it's, you know, for a uh, special place in my heart for this one, for sure. Uh, for the character and for the series Trigun, it was the first thing I did anime wise, you know, which basically launched me into, you know, the voiceover career that I have. So one of the things that is uh, particularly new about this reimagining is that it's a, new, it's a new animation studio in Orange who are very well known for doing this really crazy 3D but also 2D looking style of animation. Uh, how, how, what's your reaction to just seeing it in motion? I dig it. I, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, uh, I do have, I am fond of the original, but this is a whole new, feel you know and and I, I just it's just been awesome to get in there again now it's trickier because the lip flaps are a bit more precise oh, yeah, you know yeah. so that bit is like oh I got to pay attention you know <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I'm loving it I think it's pretty sweet it, lo it looks awesome uh, you, you you mentioned the lip flaps being more precise as like a, a challenge 20 years is a long time in terms of technology and dubbing technology have things in the dubbing landscape changed from when you first recorded Trigun to now when you're recording Trigun Stampede? Well, I mean, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know, I just had, I mean, that was the first anime mm -hmm. I'd worked on. Before that was Power Rangers. Yeah. You know, and then which I went. Which wasn't an anime. Right, which <laughs> <laughs> was like, wasn't. But then I, you know, and then I hit this point in my career after Power Rangers where it was like, I don't know if I can do acting anymore. Um, I, I couldn't, there weren't a whole lot of half Asian roles, you know, so it, I was sent out for Caucasian or Asian guy and I just wasn't booking and I thought my career was over. I thought acting was done. And so being able to get in there and do this opened my eyes to, oh, wait a second, I could do voiceover. This is, this is something else, you know, and so I could still act. And so it really gave me hope that I can continue to have a career um, and then explore acting. And it, so this being the first thing that I worked on and being able to come back, that it's a special meaning for me, you know? You mentioned something that kind of bleeds into one of our first FanFest fan questions. Uh, this question uh, comes from a uh, guy who thinks he's cool. <laughs> guy who thinks he's cool asks, uh, will I need to know anything about the 90s version? I'm assuming it's going to take us to similar places, um, but they're going to be doing some amazing things. There's things that, when you look at the original animation, I mean, it's it's old, it's dated. There's certain things that they couldn't do then, you know, um, that they're able to do here. It's like breaking new ground, really, for me, visually. Um, I don't think so. Now, it helps me to know where I came from, yeah. to be able to add a little bit of that essence of who Vash was then, you know, even though we're doing this whole new thing, I still feel like people do, you know, those that have seen the original, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you got both. Yeah. I'd say watch both, Absolutely. you know? Yeah. yeah. All right, so our final uh, fan question is from user RPG who asks the question, uh, how did Vash change your life as a voice actor and what do you love about the character? It's definitely impacted my life. Um, again, it gave me, it gave me hope that I can continue acting 
when I thought that my career was done. Um, it made me realize that, oh wait, I can do this. It doesn't matter what I look like. I can do voiceover, you know? And so it took me a while to really kind of find, you know, my groove, I guess, you know, to really kind of like, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes years, you know, to uh, develop, you know, what this is now for me, you know? Um, but that was, that was the beginning. That was school for me, you know, it really was. I learned everything. Uh, on the original series. What a moron! Bullets! I can really use some bullets! A few 22 calibers would be dandy! Come on, guys! Any time now! Huh? But, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, it's cool! Happy thoughts! Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Gotta be one here somewhere. Don't panic, it's cool, super cool. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> bullets! I could really use some bullets. A few 22 calibers would be dandy. Come on, guys. Okay, I think I got this. <clears throat> uh, hurry up, help. Please, it's your boy. Need some ammo over here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, help me over here. Uh, uh, what? No? Was that not good? That's my interpretation of Vash. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Any time now! So, uh... What'd you think, Johnny? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not, uh... Bad. Okay, alright, that's a start. It's not good either. Okay, all right. Well, I wasn't hoping to hear that. Well, let me show you. <laughs> please, please do. You almost have to sort of memorize as much as you can. Um, you also need to know what all this means. You know, OM, open mouth. Whenever you see the things are underlined, that means you're not gonna see his mouth moving. So that, that right there, you know, you might have a little more time or, or a little less time. So as they preview, you go through your mind, all of that stuff, and then you see, ah, oh, that doesn't fit, or oh, I need to stretch it a little bit more. Um, and then you look for the flaps, if there are flaps, to see where ah, I'm gonna have to hold that out, you know, or do this, because obviously this is in Japanese, so you gotta find a way to make all these English words somehow work in between all of that. So, preview, and then you just time everything out. So, uh, I might be out of ammo? I like how you, you made it into a question despite the fact that there's no actual yeah. question mark there. Yeah, so I mean, you kinda, <laughs> you gotta do whatever you're told first off. Yeah. <laughs> but, occasionally you can go, ah, let's see what this color looks like on it. You uh -huh. know? Um, you also need to know how far you, you're away from the people you're talking to. And sometimes you gotta project a bit more than maybe you feel comfortable doing. Um, so you gotta find out that whole bit too. Right? This one right here is gonna be all screaming. So this is gonna be <laughs> all out there. Bullets! I can really use some bullets! A few 22 calibers would be dandy! Come on, guys! Anytime now! So you know that, that ah, you gotta fit that in the flat. Yeah. See, the writer is is just writing what they think is gonna fit what looks right because they're looking at, you know, the lips, and they wrote in, "Your boy needs ammo," and I'm like, um, no. <laughs> no, Vash. I don't think Vash would say your boy. Um, I didn't either. That's why I went with Jay Z. <laughs> but then obviously, you know, we can make a, an adjustment there. I think we'd do like, what was it? I need some ammo, maybe. Yeah, I need some ammo. And then they'll just, you know, the writer, whoever, the d director will, will come in there and maybe adjust some things in there. You can offer a suggestion. Hurry! Help! Please! I need some ammo! <laughs> so good. That was so <laughs> amazing. Jeez. Yeah, I was really hoping, though, to hear Bash finally say, your boy. Your boy. And that that would have made my boy. day. And that made my day. Thank you. John, I want to thank you so much uh, for uh, talking to us. This was, this was so much fun. Uh, Trigon Stampede is streaming right now on Crunchyroll and Hulu. Check it out.